Hi guys, so I am live for the very first time on my personal profile, which I'm quite excited about. Um, but I have chosen to come live on here because I felt that it was super important to talk to the kind of the widest network I had about the Facebook um, algorithm changes. Um, and I thought it would be better done here rather than either in my group or in on my business page or anything like that. I thought this was the best because this is where I was going to get the, the kind of be able to help the most amount of people. So that's why I'm here on my personal page. And hopefully um, you will get some insight and some tips and some reassurance really is the main goal here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check on my laptop next to me. I just want to make sure that I am definitely live <laughs> and that I am here. It's the, my computer showing me live, but I just want to make sure that everything is as it should be. So I'm just going to check on my profile here, make sure my sound is off because that would be annoying, <laughs> wouldn't it? Ah, ah, Rosie's commenting. Hi Rosie, thank you. Um, thanks for you. Yes, and I can see myself on my profile as well, which is super helpful. Um, so that's great. So yeah, I wanted to talk about all the um, Facebook changes. This is cool on my computer because I can see all your comments there. So this is going to make this even fun. So yeah, if you've got any questions or anything um, you kind of want to add while I'm talking, just please do comment and um, I will be able to see them which is great and I can hopefully help. Um, so yeah, the everyone's kind of, I woke up this morning and there were a few little rumbles about Facebook changes. In fact, they were rumbling when I was going to sleep last night. Um, woke up this morning, there were a few more rumbles and by about lunchtime, kind of when the US was waking up, it was just turning into like a huge panic. Um, there, everybody was, you know, in every group I was in, um, Kind of every kind of business group I'm in, people were posting links to articles that people had written about it or to um, the main article, you know, all kinds of different things saying, you know, oh, what do we think about that? Oh, thank you, Rosie. Rosie's just saying my hair looks fab. Thank you. I'm not sure it does, but um, cool. Thanks. <laughs> I'm going to take your word for it. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, I kind of, it was just getting like throughout the day, I feel like it's been getting worse and worse and worse. The, um, not my hair, the <laughs> Facebook posts about um, everybody being really panicking and worried about all the changes and how it's going to affect their businesses um, and what, what what's going to be different. So hi, Holly. Um, so yeah, everyone's everyone's here. This is cool. Loads of people are live. Hi, everyone. Um, so I'm really pleased I went on my personal page. This is super cool. So yeah, as I said, the longer the day has gone on, the worse it's been getting. And I've been getting really frustrated with it all because I feel like most of these people are scaremongering everybody. Um, I'm not a fan of the news in general and the media in general because of the way that they scaremonger. I, I hate watching the news unless there's some really big like countrywide or worldwide thing happening. I don't actually watch it on a daily basis. My husband's obsessed with it, but it's not, it's not my cup of tea. And I really feel like this is going along the same lines. Um, there's so many articles out there. There's people feeling like they've got to go back and delete old posts out of groups because they're worried they're going to get their page shut down. Um, people are feeling like, you know, there's no point in having a business page because nothing is going to be seen. And I think that is incorrect. Um, and loads of other things. They're thinking, you know, Facebook, you know, is this the end of Facebook? <laughs> no, this is not the end of Facebook. Like, of course not. Um, so yeah, I just kind of, yeah, fear-based lead to conversations. It does, Karen, you're dead right, but it just drives me absolutely bonkers because <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> um, and I just don't, for me personally, it's not something that aligns with who I am. It's not going to encourage me to want to click things and want to do things. It's going to make me annoyed, um, which is why I'm on here having a little bit of a rant about it. <laughs> so um, putting that aside, what I wanted to do is hopefully try and alleviate maybe some of your fears um, or any questions that you've got about the changes in the algorithm um, and kind of just talk through how I see it. Now, I do think um, I'm just going to quickly move my screen over a little bit. So I have got Mark Zuckerberg's post that he posted on Facebook. And I do think there are certain parts of it that are open to interpretation. And I can see how some people have, have taken it one way and other people have taken it another way. And the way I take it might be different from the way that you take it, you know, and that's that's totally fine. 
The one thing I will say is, as of right now, we're not going to know 100% how this is going to affect our Facebook pages, we, our business pages. We, we don't know. It's going to take time for this to roll out. So there's going to be a period of time that you're going to be testing things. You're going to be trying things out. And what I don't want you to feel is afraid of doing that because you're worried that suddenly Facebook's going to shut your page down because you've tried something to see if it's going to work. Um, now, I do feel like things are moving to a place of, you know, being away from all that spam stuff, all the clickbait, you know, all the everything that that people don't really like. But for some few marketers work really well. But for the majority, it's just annoying. Um, and actually, I think that's a good thing that we're moving away from that. It's actually going to, you know, it's going to sort away the, the good guys from the bad guys. Um, so it's good that they're discouraging and that they're going to penalize any Facebook pages that are using clickbait techniques. Um, so yes, you may have to think a little bit about your wording in the sense of potentially asking people to tag their friends and stuff like that. It's probably not going to be a good idea, although actually that is what we want them to do. We almost want to ask them to do it in a more subtle way. Um, and that maybe has to be thought about a little bit more. Um, all that Mark Zuckerberg, everything kind of Mark Zuckerberg's written about is he's talking about wanting um, engagement from people and wanting to build connections on Facebook, which is, you know, it's a social media platform. It's about being social. So it makes sense that that is what he wants to encourage. But I want to also bring up the point that he is never going to get rid of you know, Facebook business pages because they spend money to advertise with him and that is how he makes his money. <laughs> so he's not going to say no to that. That's not going to end. So this isn't the death of Facebook <laughs> for businesses. It's potentially a way of making it harder for you to do things for free. Um, and I'm not personally surprised by that. There's not really anywhere you can advertise your business for free nowadays. So I don't think it's a, you know, for me, it's not a surprise that it's getting to the point that you're going to have to, you know, spend a little bit of cash to be able to get your business out there. What I love about Facebook is how much cheaper it is than anywhere else. You know, you can't, you know, I think print media is dying a death anyway. But I remember when, you know, in previous businesses I've had, when we've tried to have um, adverts in local newspapers and it's cost hundreds of pounds and it's just there for one week and it's gone. You know, fa with Facebook, you can start off with five pounds or five dollars a day, you know, and if your budget's a hundred pounds, you, you know, a hundred dollars, you spend that for your, you know, until that runs out. And then, you know, you can think of increasing your budget or not or do whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. It really can. So it opens up advertising to people who've got smaller budgets, which I really, really like. Um, so I still think that they're, you know, they're, this isn't the death of Facebook for business pages. Yes, it's maybe encouraging you to pay for advertising, but you can do that at a lower at a lower cost. Um, and I do think that boosting there, there is value in boosting posts. I just think it needs to be thought about it and it needs to be strategic and there needs to be a point behind it. Um, apologies if you can hear my dogs barking. Um, so I do think that, you know, you have to think about that as a business owner. I think it's maybe just adjusting your mindset in the sense of what your business page is there for. It's there to advertise your business. And so you're going to need to be paying for that. So I recommend, you know, setting aside a bit of a budget maybe each month for Facebook ads. You know, you might want to start off or start off with boosting a few posts, start off with, you know, say, right, I'm going to spend £20 this month. I'm going to pick, you know, four posts, five posts, whatever it is, and spend a fiver on each of them, you know, whatever you want to do just to test things out before you start looking at things like Facebook ads, which can get really complicated. Um, but they are incredibly effective when done well. Um, so um, when it comes to your actual page, it's just thinking about the kinds of things you post there. So Facebook doesn't, you know, the change is going to mean that it want you, it's going to want you to encourage engagement. So it's got to be things that are going to encourage engagement without being clickbaity. 
Um, and we know that Facebook loves videos. So often I would say something that's gonna be really helpful for your strategy moving forwards on your business page is to do Facebook Lives on your business page. And the other benefit for that is that encourages comments. I mean, I've already got comments on, I mean, obviously I know I'm on my personal profile, I'm not on my business page, but you know, you get comments on there and often the audience then interact with each other and they're actually you know, liking each other's posts and commenting with each other. That's what Facebook likes. That's what Facebook wants to see. So I do think Facebook Lives are gonna be a way to ensure that you're, that you're still getting good reach, you're getting good engagement on your Facebook page. And what you then post obviously needs to be thought about a little bit more carefully. You need to use things that aren't going to in encourage people to, you know, for it to look spammy. So don't use the same pictures that everybody else is using. That's what's going to land you in Facebook jail. You know, don't just use the same pictures that everybody else uses. Um, create your own graphics. And it's so easy to create fairly simple graphics in Canva now. Um, or PicMonkey or whatever. But I believe Canva is pretty much the best um, to use that now. Um, it's so easy to create something yourself and just have a think about what you're writing as well. Don't just kind of spam it out really quickly. Um, have a think about what it is that you're actually saying along with your um, post and make sure it's something that's actually helping your community that they're going to engage with, that they're going to like. And talking about community, I really think this means that Facebook groups are going to become kind of an even bigger part of Facebook and an even they should become an even bigger part of your strategy as a business owner. Um, I have found even just in the last two or three days that in my newsfeed generally, what I'm seeing is posts from groups more than anything else. Oh, you can see one of my dogs. Oh, I moved the wrong way behind me. There's that's Margot behind me there. Oh, she's looking over and having a yawn. Darcy's running around on the floor. They're causing a ruckus, obviously, because I'm live. That's just you know the way it goes. <laughs> so yeah, Facebook groups, I think is going to be where you're going to get really great interaction. And so I'd have a think about your funnel and think about if you don't already have um, a group that, where your customers live or where your potential customers live or, you know, clients, whatever, think about starting one, thinking about creating a funnel that would lead to a group, which is where you can then build connection with your audience and that can then be you know something that you can really use and something that works really really well for you um, that's definitely something I would have a think about and I'm just going to flip back on my computer a minute and just double check this post from Mark Zuckerberg blah, 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 and make sure I've covered everything um, that I wanted to so as we roll this out you'll see less public content like posts from business less public content like posts from businesses brands and media and the public content you see you see more will be held to the same standard it should be in, it should encourage meaningful interactions between people so that means it is also going to affect your personal profile as well so it means that you know if you're constantly posting about your business on your personal profile and when i mean posting about your business i mean really obviously posting about your business and being a bit spammy and maybe being really like salesy on your personal profile facebook doesn't like that so you're going to need to get a little bit more strategic and i do think it's good to use your personal profile as you know and think of it especially if you are your brand if you're if kind of people are buying into you as your business um i think it is helpful to use your your personal profile you just need to be a little bit strategic about how you do that um and i just think what i would say is think more and plan more about what you're going to post and test things out and i really think there's it's just going to be a, there's going to be a period of time of testing things and as i said i'm going to circle back on a from the business page point of view i do think things are moving more towards um encouraging you to to put a bit of you know money where your mouth is and spend a little bit with facebook um, i do think that's what they're going to encourage you to do to get yourself out there but i do think you still need to be making sure that it's good quality um posts that you're putting out there um, to help drive the engagement i'm just going to read the comments as a customer rather than a business owner curious though i completely agree on the group thing yeah there we go Riz. yeah exactly so i think groups are going to become you know the whole mark zuckerberg's whole post is all about you know wanting to encourage like um commute like communities and conversations between peoples he, he uses a specific phrase i'm just quickly reading back to make um we feel a responsibility to make sure our services aren't just fun to use but also good for people's well-being 
Um, so we've studied this trend carefully by looking at academic research and doing our own research with leading experts at universities. It shows that we, when we use social media to connect with people we care about, it can be good for our well-being. So group, I mean, for me, groups, 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 groups. So as a business owner, what I would encourage you to do is to start networking even more than you already are in groups. That's going to be what's going to help you, which is, again, where your personal profile comes in. Because when you're networking in groups, it's your personal profile that's doing that. So it's your personal profile that people are going to go and click on. So you want to make sure that your personal profile is optimized and that it looks good and that it is, you know, a subtle advertisement for your business. You want to make sure your links are in there. And yes, you still need to have a business page and you link to your business page because when I'm always checking someone else, oh, out, sorry, I always click through to their business page because I want to know what they do and what they what you do is going to be what's on your business page. Um, I would also think about the number of times that you post on your business page. If you're someone who posts like five times a day on there, you're going to want to cut that back dramatically. I think two max, in my opinion, I think one's totally OK. Once a day on your business page. And I would expect to see a little bit of a drop in your reach and your engagement over the next couple of weeks until maybe things balance out and you find kind of the right method that works for you. Um, but I would say something that I'm changing in my strategy and in my strategy for my clients with social media is any sharing of links. So I personally feel like from what I've read from what he said is that sharing links, which is going to drive traffic off of Facebook and potentially not encourage a conversation is not what Facebook's going to want to see. Now, normally when I share a link, it's always something I feel that's going to benefit my audience and I'll try and do it while asking a question. But if I'm not getting answers to those questions, then I'm kind of looking at that and thinking, hmm, maybe this isn't quite the right content. So I'm actually coming up with a plan to not be sharing links for the next at least two weeks. I kind of want to do at least a two week stretch to see what a difference that makes. So I'd recommend thinking about not sharing links on your business page for a little while and again it might mean you need to get a bit clever about it so if you're wanting to drive traffic to your website then it's about asking questions within your posts and then encouraging maybe people to ask for your link or to send them to the main button on your business page which should say you know learn more or shop now or whatever it is um, so Colleen said, liking all these changes. Yeah, I'm really liking them as well. And I'm, that's why I'm so frustrated that there's all this scaremongering. Um, and I just was like, I was watching a load of videos this morning and I've been reading posts about it like all day whenever I've got a spare minute. And I just, there's so much, I mean, even from really top, top marketers as well, basically saying, you know, is this the end of Facebook? And I'm just like, really? No, of course, it's not the end of Facebook. What are you saying? Um, of course, I have no doubt they're trying to sell a course on the back of that. And that's why they're doing it. But, you know, whatever. Um, what I would say, just to piggyback on that whole, is this the end of Facebook thing? It's always worth having a backup in case things do go bad and do kind of nosedive. And this is where having a list is really, really important and having your own list of clients and of audience and building a list of email addresses that you can then nurture and you can grow your relationship with. So I would recommend if you're looking at starting a group or if you've already got one, you can set up questions for people to um, answer to join the group and have one of them as getting their email address. Obviously, you want to phrase it in a way of, you know, leave us your email address and we will send you great tips on X, Y, Z or whatever. Or if you've got a an opt in or a lead magnet, if you don't have one, I encourage you to create one. If you want any help with doing that or you're just ideas, then pop me a message. I'm happy to have a chat about that, about the kinds of things you can do um, to create one and offer that, um, you know, pop your email as one of the questions, comment with your email and we'll send you your free guide to X, Y, Z, whatever it might be. Um, you can create them in Canva. It's dead easy. You just need to obviously have written the copy somewhere first and then um, pop that in there. So um, and I so as I said, I think creating a list and I think creating a list is something that we should all be doing. 
and if you're not doing it and i know that when i was in direct sales um and because I, I know a lot of you guys are when i was in direct sales it was not something i was doing and i regret that so i think that is something that we should all be doing no matter what your business is you should be collecting leads and creating a list because that is where your money is that is what is going to stay long term so that if anything was to ever happen with facebook um, or if the changes meant that, you know, had a dramatic effect on your business, then you've still got your list. You've still got your emails. You can still nurture them. Um, and I'm going to talk about emails in my Facebook group because that is something that I know people really struggle with, as in what to say in them. So um, I'm going to drop some tips on doing that. And also... I'm going to turn this into a blog post and I'm going to add some links because there's a really great book, which if you haven't already read, you should definitely read on help with drafting emails um, and creating email sequences and stuff like that. There's a few actually, but um, there's a couple come to mind. So I'm going to link to all of those. So be sure to check that out. So has anybody else got any more questions while I'm here? I'm just going to take a drink. Silence. Um, quite a few it's really funny because i've got all these notifications of all these people that have joined but it's telling me only three are watching live so i don't know whether people have joined and then hopped off which i totally get because i do that all the time <laughs> or whether um there are actually um all these people on the right are actually watching it but this is cool i just want to say thank you so much for watching and if you're catching the replay i really appreciate you taking the time to watch this and i really hope this has helped um and will you let me know um pop a comment either here or you can feel free to reach out message me whatever you want to do just to let me know and if you've got any more questions and your or any concerns or anything like that please let me know um i i love facebook and i love social media which is why i'm now offering it for clients as a social media manager and strategist so i you know and i i really try and stay at the top of kind of all the new changes and everything that, thing that's happening so if you have got any questions just let me know and um, that's why i kind of wanted to put this out there and hopefully I articles that's happening at the moment so i don't seem to be any questions right now if you have any if you're watching the replay and you have any or um, if you have any and I've already ended the video or anything, feel free, as I said, to just comment and I will get back to you. I will comment below with those and everything. So thank you so much again for taking time out of your day to tune in. And I'd love to know if this has helped at all. Thanks, guys.